Hello and welcome to Drummer's Review. I'm Nolly, and today we're going to be looking at a set of Sabian FRX cymbals. The FRX cymbals are a new addition to the Sabian range, with the FR standing for Frequency Reduced. The idea here is that these cymbals don't contain some of the more harsh frequencies that you get in traditional cymbals, making them come across a little bit quieter and therefore more suitable for situations where normal cymbals might be a bit too brash. Today we're going to be looking at the full range of currently available FRX cymbals, which means we've got a set of 14 inch hi-hats, we've got 16, 17 and 18 inch crashes, as well as 20 and 21 inch rides. These cymbals are all made out of B20 bronze, they feature raw bells, are generally light in weight, and most notably have varying numbers of machine drilled holes in them in order to create this controlled sound. These FRX cymbals do carry a substantial price tag, with a 16 inch crash starting at £342 retail, all the way up to £566 for the hi-hats. If you want to see a detailed breakdown of the prices, then head over to our website where it will all be listed. Sabian do stress that these are not low volume cymbals, and they do have their own desirable sound qualities, so we were keen to try them out in various dynamic settings. Let's listen a little bit more and then come back for some discussion afterwards. Our initial impression is that these are extremely lightweight cymbals, barring the hi-hat bottom, which is fairly traditional in weight and doesn't feature any kind of drilling. The distinctive look isn't going to be for everyone, but we actually thought they looked pretty cool. 
The way that the holes are drilled is different on each cymbal type, with the hi-hats simply having a row of holes around the bell. The crashes feature a wider band of holes that covers both the bell and a bit of the bow of the cymbal as well, while the rides have an additional band which reaches around the edge of the cymbal too. Listening to these cymbals, the hats got us off to a really good start. They're actually quite traditional in their nature, with a crisp and clear sound, albeit quite low pitched and generally a bit quieter than you might expect. The thin top cymbal gives a buttery and soft feel, and the hats responded well when played open or closed and even pedalled. Also these hats have a good dynamic range, with them opening up nicely as you started to hit harder. Moving on to the crashes, the sounds are quite dry, with a crunchy attack that quickly decays away. This is quite normal for thinner crashes, and suited the 18 inch well, that we felt as the diameter decreased that it started to become a little bit too short for our liking. The 16 inch was our least favourite, coming across as something more akin to an effect symbol than a usable crash sound, while the 17 sounded really good for accents, but perhaps a little bit too choppy and shrill to be ridden on. The 18 inch however does work well as a main crash, with a low enough pitch to work well both for riding and for accents too. The 21 inch ride was impressive from a player's perspective, with a full sound when struck on the bow, a strong bell and a lot of wash that opens up quickly whether played on the bow or on the edge. On recording however we felt that the pitch was perhaps a bit too low to cut through, and there's some fairly sharp overtones that build up and become ear piercing when crashed. In comparison the 20 inch ride was a delight, with an articulate character, a defined bell and actually works really well when crashed too. As such, we feel like the cymbal actually makes for a great crash ride that would work very well for anyone that plays with a minimalist cymbal array. As a set, we feel like there's a strong, coherent character between all of these cymbals, perhaps with the exception of that 16-inch crash that just doesn't really have a voice of its own. These are definitely less full-on than traditional cymbals, but then again, it's not exactly a night and day difference in terms of volume either. Despite the frequencies that have been removed from these cymbals, they actually maintain quite a lot of character, and they've certainly got some body to them too. Perhaps that's due to just how thin in weight they are, but they're certainly not lacking in any kind of low end. Sabian's tagline for the FRX cymbals is don't hold back, and it's certainly nice to be able to lay into them without the sound becoming overbearing. With them being so thin though, we're not sure how long they'd be able to stand up to a beating without bending or cracking. Sabian are quite clearly aiming at a specialised application for these cymbals, either live situations where a very controlled cymbal sound is necessary, or perhaps in a studio where a sound engineer would really appreciate a bit of lessened cymbal presence in the close mics and the room mics in order to be able to extract a bit more from the drum shells. We can certainly see that the FRX cymbals are well suited to this task, especially the 18 inch crash, the 20 inch ride, and the 14 inch hats, though of course they do have quite a distinct sonic character that perhaps won't be suitable in every application. For the price tag these cymbals command, we feel like you'd have to have a lot of occasion to use these cymbals in order for them to be a worthwhile investment. We do think it's a really cool concept though, and we applaud Sabian for developing these cymbals. And for drummers who require a controlled cymbal sound, these could be just the ticket. We'd love to know your thoughts though, so please leave us a comment. Don't forget to subscribe for more content, and I'll see you next time at Drummers Review.